What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emma Account TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have a latest and trending news for you today, and the headline here reads: Nandi Kano's parent burial. Police destroy two CCTV camera, but I have 36 others. Wow. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please say this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel. Please, there's a red subscribe button below this video now. All right, I'm going to proceed with the news. This news is gotten from Daily Post. Uh, that's a link there, dailypost.ng. So it's on Naira Lass. I'm going to be reading it with the reactions. So here are the news in details. Leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mr. Nam Dukano, says he has installed a total of 38 closed circuit cameras in concealed location around his family compound ahead of the burial of his parents on Friday. A message sent to Daily Post stated that the purpose of the camera was to have evidence to show to the world when security agent will start manhandling its members at the burial and claim that IPOB members originated the violence. Kano also backed the message with a CCTV footage sent to our reporter said the police have however found two of the cameras and have destroyed them, but stated that 36 others were still well concealed. Kano who raised the alarm over the destruction of the camera said, let it be known that Abia State Police under the command of Ene Okun, in collaboration with DSS, have proceeded to remove two CCTV cameras installed in around my hometown to preempt and record any terror attack by Nigerian army and police, as was the case in September 2017. The entire civilized world must ask the regime in Aso Rock and Abia State Police Commissioner Mr. Enel Okon why they are destroying CCTV cameras on private properties in my village if they have nothing to hide. So far, they succeeded in destroying two cameras, but I wish to assure them that there are 36 others well concealed camera recording and relaying in real time the activities in and around my home. Police authorities in Abia State had earlier warned members of IPOP to stay clear of the venue of the burial to avoid trouble. IPOP on its part had insisted that its members will pay last respect to the late parent of their leader but we do so without violence wow guys there's tension in the land and um nam Kano here has actually come out to state that the police have succeeded to destroy two cctv cameras you get you know in one of the broadcasts he said that he has well mounted several cctv camera to actually capture footages around the burial seen okay and also to, to document evidence of any attempt by the military or the police to actually harass and intimidate or kill its members that such evidence is going to be documented and presented to the world already as i speak to you it appears as if everything is in top gear you get so and now the camera here is saying that he has 36 other camera concealed in different locations that the Nigerian security operatives will not be able to identify, track, and destroy. You get that? So far, they've been able to track and destroy two, but they will not be able to track the remaining. Okay, and you know that some of these CCTV camera, what they do, they don't store information at the local storage. What they do is they capture this information and the video, they store it in remote storage. So that even if you destroy the CCTV footage, the, the information is not stored in the hard disk there. But rather it's stored in a remote location and that will be able to provide evidence. Okay, so that is it. Um, the police have actually dared IPOP not to attend the burial, and IPOP on the part said that they are going to attend the burial. Nothing will stop them. And there's a video footage yesterday we saw that is making the round on internet of IPOP freedom fighters actually heading to Omoya. In fact, in that video footage, you check my video, you're going to see the video footage. You see the IPOP freedom fighter actually crossing military checkpoint unstopped. You get it. so, but however, we are waiting to see how this will play out. We pray that there should be no clash. I probably on themselves have said that they are not going to be violent, but however, they are not going to 
condescend you understand me they are not going to hit the demand of the police not to attend the burial and that a the late monarch was a was a biafran and they must be given a biafran befitting burial okay so that is it guys i don't know what you guys think about this i want you to drop your comment below let me know what you think but however there are some reactions here i'm going to read um people's reaction somebody here says intelligent another guy here said not so another guy here says the quieter you become the more you are able to hear no need for rant nuga acting like wet pussy another guy here says they should set up a boxing match between Kano and the igp let them both fight to death in the ring so we can be rid of all this daily hula balu another guy here says this guy is just a chronic noisemaker and attention seeker. Another guy here says, is that CBN? Another guy here says, this guy talks too much. Another comment here says, all these are our quack security forces. Go fight Boko Haram and arm bandits. They're no good do. But when Mata enter on armed civilians, they go show face. Another guy here says, we are very busy with Amato Kuhn and the Supreme Court right now regarding Bayelsa and Imo. We will look into your matter when you are done, waiting concern now with CCTV. I beg, pack well, Joe. Another guy here says, waiting concern myself. Another comment here says, talking from oblivion. Another comment here says, too late, there are over 36 more CCTV cameras hidden. Another comment here says, where is man and slow and slow Maya? Our IPOP terrorists are at it again. Come and start wailing. Another comment here says, Igbo and sense. Another comment here says, in all honesty, what interest does the federal government have in the burial of Namdi, Kano's parent? Is this national issue seems something is wrong with our present day leader? Another comment here says it's getting interesting. Another comment here says it keeps getting better. Another comment here says we play too much in this country. Too many misplaced priorities. What is government business on our one chooses to bury their own? Or is it this state is it a state burial? Another comment here says the government is so stupid for making this guy look so important. Another comment here says, why is the army there? Another comment here says, Bia France for life. Another comment here says, MPF and Fulani soldiers are making this dude more popular worldwide. Better I wish they would have ignored and everything will come and pass like some random and common burial. Just look at what is happening now. Mumu country. Mumu country. Another comment say this guy and his propaganda. All right, guys, what do you think about this? Uh, now the Carlos parent burial is going to be on the 14th of February 2020. And already there are tensions in the land. All road leads to Afaruku. And we are beginning to see, you understand me, how peaceful this is going to be. We pray and we wish that the late monarch should be able to transit gloriously to the afterlife without any problem but however we decry um the the threat made by commissioner of police Ene Okon that he will scatter the burial premises if he cites any IPOP member that's the threat he has just made but this is not coming very good uh this is not coming very well as a lot of people have said this is this threat is very serious and now they cannot has actually vowed to notify international community with the footages videos and everything yesterday amnesty international actually uh warned the federal government not to do anything silly in nandicano's uh parent burial so we're, but we're waiting to see how this is going to play out we pray there should be no clash and we pray everything should be successful god bless you all this is the Malcolm tv god bless you